We've all seen these USB powered LED bulbs. They're just not practical to use in this configuration. Stick around and I'll show you a way better version. A while back, I bought quite a few of these for about $2 a piece. There's really not much to them except an enclosure, a light diffuser, LED array, and a USB power cable. The only way to use one if you're out camping is to plug it into a power bank. I don't like this arrangement because you have a long cable you have to deal with and you got to put that battery bank somewhere like your pocket and that makes it really awkward to use because the cable could get snagged on things and you could damage uh, your power bank input jacks. So a practical redesign would consist of an enclosure to house the LED array it would have to hold an 18650 lithium ion cell, which I have plenty of. It, you need a battery management board, a BMS, to uh, manage that 18650 to keep it from overcharging and uh, over discharging. Um, and you need a latching power switch. The schematic is very basic. Uh, the first thing you want to hook up is the battery. So the positive of the 18650 goes to the B plus and the negative goes to the B minus. Um, the LED is connected, take the positive and hook it up to one leg of the switch. The other leg of the switch goes to the out positive. The negative LED output goes to the out negative. Pause the screen if you need more time. You know, I've watched a lot of uh, TV survival shows and I understand that you have an order of priorities when you initially enter a survival situation. Water is always first and then you probably need a weapon and then maybe start building the shelter if you have some daylight and then fire because you can't make food without fire and so on. One thing that is never stressed is light or power um, which I guess uh, light can be improvised from fire unless it's windy or raining. But if I was in a survival situation, I'd definitely want a light source that was uh, pretty dependable uh, so that I can navigate at night if I needed to or if I can see predators or potential threats. Um, and this little device would be perfect for that. When you're installing a BMS, make sure you use something like super glue or uh, something that is not affected by heat because that BMS does tend to uh, heat up when it's being used. Notice how all the parts fit kind of snugly. Well, if you plan on printing out this file, um, keep in mind that I designed everything to print with a 0.8 millimeter nozzle at a 0.6 millimeter layer height, just to speed up the print time. Uh, it also strengthened the part. So if you plan on using a different nozzle diameter, I'm not sure how things will fit together. These things perform pretty well. In pitch blackness, they're capable of lighting up an entire room. In a power outage, I'd rather depend on one of these than a candle or a flashlight. Anyway, I uh, appreciate your attention. Thanks for watching.